What's up, Earth Signs, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgos? It's me, the Fly Empress, and welcome back to my channel, you guys. So I'm here to do a reading for December the 28th to January the 1st. This reading will not resonate with everyone, so take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. So you guys, I tried to record you guys reading yesterday, but I was so exhausted. Um, I looked back at it today because I, I knew I had to edit some stuff in it. And I was like, no, nah, there's too much editing. I, I, I can't even do it. So I decided to redo you guys reading. But I did want to, to tell you guys the messages that I did find yesterday. Um, for some of you guys, I did pick up um, that you could be traveling um, this week. Um, I'm, I'm looking at New Year's. Some of you guys could be traveling. Um, I'm definitely hearing no drinking and driving. If some of you guys drink, you guys, this is not a good time to be drinking and driving. Um, I did see an accident, you guys. Um, if you do plan to travel, just be safe, all right? Make sure you check your tires, check your oil. Um, but I did pick up that this was a bad time to travel, okay? So, y'all, just be safe out there. And that message is not for everybody. That could be um, somebody that you're connected to. If you know you're not a, a drinker or you don't drink like that, then that message isn't for you. I was picking up on somebody who could be drinking. And this person could be drinking every day. But um, New Year's is the wrong time to be traveling. All right? But let's see, y'all. Let's pull an ancestor message and see what spirit wants you guys to know for December the 28th to January the 1st. Spirit, show me what I need to see for the Earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgos. December the 28th to January the 1st. Capricorn, okay. So, you guys, we got have courage, strength, fearlessness, and warrior. This came out in reverse. So, for some of you guys, I feel like it could be something that you're wanting to do, but you guys could be afraid to do this. I'm definitely picking up for a lot of you guys. You could have been, a, you don't went through a lot, okay? Um, but I'm picking up a warrior spirit here. Somebody has been through a lot and somebody could feel drained at this time. But spirit is pushing you to walk in your path. All right, to um, go after what it is that you want. We also got find your voice. This came out in the reverse as well. And this says, express yourself, open up and sing out. Now the water signs got this card too, but this came in in the upright. So for some of you guys, I feel like it's something that you're wanting to do or it's something that you're very talented, something you're very talented in. And you could feel like you can't accomplish this because maybe you don't have the financial means or maybe you feel like you're not stable at this time. For some of you, you're in your head. Spirit is wanting for you to get out of your head and to be fearless, okay? Um, To go after your dreams and to um find your voice. For some of you, you could be a singer. You could be a motivational speaker. For some of you, you could be um, a rapper. Um, but whatever your talent is, I definitely feel like it's regarding your voice here. Okay, so let's see, you guys. Let's see. For some of y'all, I do feel like you could be um, just drained. You could feel drained or your tired of going through some type of cycle here or you feel like um you could feel like your singing career or your rapping career whatever career this is you might feel like it's not going nowhere but spirit is wanting for you to have courage and to balance yourself to reach down and find that warrior spirit within yourself spirit show me what i need to see for the earth signs capricorn taurus and virgos for December the 28th to January the 1st. What do they need to know, Spirit? Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgos. Show me what I need to see for the Capricorn, Taurus, and the Virgos. Is that it, Spirit? 
it might be it okay all right you guys so we got rest and rejuvenate this came out kind of sideways now you guys you are earth signs and I, I was telling this to the water signs as well with the water signs i was telling them they need to connect with water okay but for you guys i definitely feel like you need to be in your element you need to connect with nature with mother earth for some of you guys you could be in your head a lot and this will really benefit you if you can go somewhere quiet and ground yourself meditate call on spirit to give you the answers because i feel like um something in your life is not balanced with this number four here and i picked this up for the water signs make sure you're balanced mentally physically spiritually and emotionally you guys because with this blue being here blue represent the throat chakra a lot of you guys you have a divine gift with your voice and spirit is wanting for you to use this but like i said i feel like y'all done been through a lot you could feel drained or you've been putting in the effort but this haven't been getting you anywhere Spirit is wanting for you to tap in. If you feel like things isn't working, it's because you're missing something. It's, it's something that's missing, okay? Make sure y'all getting plenty of rest. Make sure you're rejuvenating your energy. I feel like this is not a good time to be around a lot of people, all right? If you're used to being around, um, you know, family and friends, you're used to socializing. Spirit is wanting for you to connect with your energy and connect with Mother Earth, okay? Because you could be picking up on other people's energies, and this could be throwing you off. For some of you guys, you are in past, all right? I'm definitely seeing someone could be at a party, and um, I'm hearing a lot of voices, all right? I'm seeing someone walk out of the party, and the voices are still in their head, for some of you guys, you could pick up on other people's energy and spirit is saying this is a good time to ground yourself. Okay. Um, we got financial and material changes. This came out in a reverse. Like I said, for a lot of you, you could be going through something regarding your finances here. I feel like you've been putting in a lot of work. For some of you guys, um, the work that you do, this is not what you're meant to do. And so it's like you're struggling. It's like you're struggling to make ends meet. Um, you're going through some type of financial restraint. And spirit is trying to redirect you in your life, okay? Um, we also got triumph and success. This came in in the upright. And look, this card is blue. So I definitely feel like, you guys, you're going to find your voice. Are you going to um, speak your truth? Are you going to get like a light bulb moment? Spirit is going to shine the light on what it is that you need to do to bring success into your life, okay? I definitely feel like a lot of you guys, you're going to try triumph over something that could be very complicated at this time. But you need to connect, all right? You need to connect with Mother Earth. You need to connect with Spirit, okay? Spirit, show me what I need to see for the Capricorn, Taurus, and the Virgos for December the 28th to January the 1st. What do they need to know, Spirit? Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgos. Show me what I need to see. What's going on for the Capricorn, Taurus, and the Virgos? Yeah. What else, Spirit? Oops. Oh, I didn't know it was that many. All right, you guys. So we got the Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles coming in in the reverse. So I definitely feel like for some of you guys, you're not stable at this time. Or this could be somebody that you're dealing with. Someone here is not stable. We got um, the Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. Both of these are Earth signs. For some of you, you could be dealing with another Earth sign. But somebody here is not stable. And I feel like with the Knight of Pentacles being here, this person, they might not be stable, but they're wanting to come in and make you an offer here. There's somebody who's wanting to come back into your life. I feel like whoever this person is, they're very slow and very stagnant. This is somebody um, who's not quick to commit to someone. But when they do come in, um, this person do commit fully. 
Um, I'm also picking up that somebody could be overspending in money. Somebody could be investing in things that's um, not a priority. All right. This is somebody who definitely needs to get their priorities in check. I'm definitely seeing someone who could be spending money on unnecessary things here. All right. And with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, Spirit is saying no. Somebody is going the wrong way. Somebody also could be under um, heavy judgment at this time or going through some type of karmic storm. Um, I'm definitely picking up something is going on in this person life you guys and like i said this could be you but this is this could be somebody you're dealing with and i feel like spirit could be done past judgment on this person because this is somebody who's refusing to change this is somebody who is overindulging in sex drugs alcohol okay and um somebody is being judged by spirit here for those of you who's, who know who this person is, I feel like you could be walking away from this situation. You're releasing this person or this situation back to God, and you could be walking away from this. Um, we got the Four of Swords here. I definitely feel like somebody is going to take time out to reflect and to go in and think about this situation. I also see someone praying or someone meditating here. And um, in this car, in this window, it's like a woman here and it's a man here. It looks like he's proposing. For some of you, this is somebody that you was dealing with. This person is wanting to come back into your life and work things out with you. But this is also somebody who know that they got to put the work in themselves if they are to come back into this spiritual union here. All right, because for a lot of you guys, you don't walk away or this person don't walk away from you. Yeah, look, the eight of cups at the bottom of the deck. Somebody is walking away. Somebody is going on their spiritual journey here. Spirit, show me. What else, spirit? Yeah, for some of you guys, you could have been dealing with a Scorpio. We got Scorpio. Um... Pisces and Cancer here, all right? Uh, we also got Scorpio again, Aquarius, Taurus, and um, Aquarius here. But I definitely pick up that someone is no longer in their head about a situation. Somebody is choosing to put self-love and self-care in themselves. They don't turn their back here. This person don't put a lid on the past. I'm hearing a lid on the past. This is somebody who's focusing on their self at this time. Spirit, I definitely feel like with the Nine of Cups coming in in reverse, this is not whoever you guys was dealing with. This is not their wish fulfillment. Okay. Oh, y'all, we got two nines that... Oh, hell no. We got three nines that came out. This is the Nine of Cups, this is the Nine of Pentacles, and this is the Nine of Wands here. So I definitely feel like something was not this person wish fulfillment here. Someone could feel drained, tired, exhausted. Um, this person could be going through a lot. I did pick up drinking, you guys. Somebody is drinking a lot. Somebody is overindulging in um, sex, uh, lust, um alcohol drugs this is somebody who's overdoing it and i feel like because this person been choosing to be stuck you guys you don't walk away from this person and with the nine of wands being here this person is wounded now because they're looking at what they done this is somebody who is watching you walk away but this person feel powerless they they feel like um you're not going to give them a second chance here. This is somebody who's also going through a lot. This person can have health issues as well. Um, but this is definitely somebody who needs to get out of their head. And this is somebody who needs to heal. All right. I'm definitely picking up on somebody with emotional problems. This person don't know how to process their emotions. This person don't know how to ask people for help. Okay. And we also got the hangman. 
I definitely feel like whoever this is, they could be procrastinating at this time or this person is feeling stuck. They feel like they're in limbo at this time as well. But with those three nines coming out, I definitely feel like a cycle here is coming to an end. Yeah, we got the four ones coming out, Spirit. What else? Why is the four ones here? Ooh. Spirit. Okay, yeah. So for a lot of you guys, I definitely see a lot of happiness coming in for y'all. I'm picking up on the springtime. I've been picking this up for all of the readings. I feel like, and I'm about to burp, so I know this the truth. But I feel like you guys are finna slowly start to see a lot of progress in your life. You're closing the chapter on the past and you're getting ready for a new beginning here. For some of you guys, I feel like you're about to find the person that, that's meant to be in your life. Y'all can end up having a child here. This card is a Leo. Okay, so you can have a, a child in Leo season or you can meet this person in Leo season or... Um, you can conceive a child in Leo season. Something is coming up here. And I definitely see some type of union that's about to take place. I don't feel like this is somebody from the past, though, you guys. Okay? Because the Five of Pentacles came up. And then the Knight of Swords came up. So it shows me that somebody in your past is going to get left behind. Like I said, this person's sick. Whoever this person is, they are going through a lot. This person is going through poverty. They're suffering. Um, this is somebody who still is refusing to change their ways. I am picking up a narcissist here. And this is Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius energy. Um, a lot of you guys, you're turning your back um, from someone who was doing their manipulation and control. This person played a lot of mind games. This person was very... Um, I'm hearing conniving, all right? They was very deceiving. This person also um, could have spread false rumors or gossip because they're about to watch you have what you want in your life. I'm definitely seeing somebody upset because you're choosing to walk away. And this might not happen right now, you guys. I'm definitely feeling like in the springtime, something is going to be revealed to this person that you're happy, okay? That you have moved on, that you done started a new life. Yeah, this is somebody who was sleeping on you, basically. We're going to pull a couple of Oracle cards and then I'm going to end it, you guys. Here, show me what I need to see. We'll pull some trinkets too for December the 28th to January the 1st. What do the Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgos need to know? December 28th. Okay, so we got relax and clear your mind. <clears throat> If any of you guys have been worried or stressed out, Spirit is wanting for you guys to relax and clear your mind. But I'm also picking up that this is tying in with this card. You need to rest and rejuvenate as well and connect back to your element. Um, but I'm also picking up that somebody could have slept on you or somebody was too relaxed when it came to you. This person could have thought that they didn't need you no more. This person could have thought that they could just come back into your life. But I definitely feel like you guys are turning your back on this situation. This is somebody who also could have wanted to come in too quickly. This person could have wanted to come in and have sex with you. Um, but you're walking away, all right? Access denied. You're denying this person of any access to your energy, okay? Spirit, what else? Yeah, we got level up in the reverse. Somebody is definitely um, going in the wrong path here. And I feel like you guys are picking up on this. We got boiling point coming in in the reverse. I feel like things already reached a boiling point with this person. All right, and we got new view. So I feel like you guys definitely got a new view about this situation. I feel like you guys are about to leave. This plane done took off. It's in the sky. Okay, you see what spirit got in store for you. A lot of you, you're on this plane going to your paradise. Okay, you're not looking back. You don't pack your bags. You don't got on that plane. You gone. Okay, yes, because spirit, you know spirit got something good for you. Spirit, what do I need to see? 
for the Capricorn, Taurus, and the Virgo, December the 28th to January the 1st. Okay, so we got a purse. So I do feel like for some of you, I definitely feel like your finances is about to increase, like really, like three times fold. If you've been going through some type of financial restraint, this is over with, okay? Y'all got money coming y'all way. But I'm also picking up that somebody could have wanted to come into your life because they need your help. This person could need financial help here. And I feel like a lot of you guys... um. That's crazy. A lot of you guys done um, turned your back on this person because you know what's up. And the reason why I said it's crazy because we got a dog bone. We got a dog bone here. All right. But we also got um, a dog bone. So I feel like somebody really wanted to come back into your life and um, they needed your help or this person is needing um something from you this is also um why am i hearing D dmx uh leave a dog alone let a dog roam and he'll find his way home uh, that came out the blue <laughs> but anyway y'all yeah i feel like somebody could need your help and this person um is wanting to come back into your life but this is somebody who's refusing to change. This is somebody who needs to get a new view on life and stop doing the same old shit that's not getting them nowhere. The definition of insane is doing the same shit that's not getting you nowhere. Okay? This person need a new view. Somebody need counseling as well, you guys. And I feel like that's a reason why you chose to walk away because you know you can't help this person. The only the only um, being here on earth that can help this person is God, okay, and this person. They're going to have to want to change their life, to get a new perspective, to get a new view, to want better, all right? But, yeah, you guys, so that's what I got. I hope y'all enjoyed these messages. If you did, like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget the rain notification bell. And until we see each other later, I love you guys so much. Peace.